Hi friends, I quickly wanted to let you know that we now have Google links on Planify Pro and they automatically apply to the digital planner, which means you don't have to go do any settings or you don't have to type anything at all. Um, you can just activate the Google links in the widgets and they should then automatically integrate in your planner once you export the planner. So let me quickly show you how you can add them. Um, we now have a Google link option for calendars. So if you have a monthly calendar here, in your planner, um, you can click on your monthly calendar and in the settings, you can scroll down and you now should see a setting called Google link calendar. So in this setting, you can click on show Google calendar link. You can then also choose the position if you want to have it on the right side, top, left, bottom or anywhere else. And then besides this, you can also choose a color. You can also type in a color. So for example, red, blue, um, green. Um, you can also have it black like this. And if you want to have it transparent, you can even type in transparent like this. And the Google links will still be there, um, just invisible to the eye, but they would still be there. So let's add it quickly to black. And then down here below, you can also choose a new icon. We have now three different icons to choose from. And that is all you need to do to apply Google links to your calendars. Now, another widget which has Google links options in it is the daily schedule. So if any of your pages has a daily schedule in it, so a widget which looks like this, you can also apply or find this widget here under daily and it's called a time schedule widget. So this specific widget here also has Google links which are specific to the timing. So if you, for example, have a date flag applied for November 30th, and you, for example, click here on 11 and you have the Google links activated. It should then open up the Google link um, for that time. So if you click on 9, it should open up a Google calendar for 9 a.m. on November 30th. And how to apply the Google links to this schedule is by going again here into the settings and scroll all the way down to Google calendar link. You want to then click on show Google calendar link and you can down here select a new color. So you see here the Google links are on top of the numbers so you would further scroll down and then additionally uh, adjust um, the column here and maybe make it wider so there is enough room for the icon on the left side. If you do not want to have the icon showing what you can do is you can reduce um, the column, okay? So the icon is placed on top of the number and you can go back up here to the Google link and you can just type in transparent like this. And you see it automatically becomes transparent. However, the Google link will still be there and will still be clickable. So I have an example here where I have placed transparent icons onto the daily schedule. And if I now, for example, click on, let's go to December 25th. If I now go on to 10 a.m. here and I click on it, it will open up the Google link calendar on December 25th at 10 a.m. here. Okay, so this is just to show you that you can uh, make them transparent and have them still working perfectly fine. So this was how you would add the Google links to your calendars as well as to the daily schedule widget. And we are planning on adding the Google links to other widgets as well, um, as well as to the date flags. If you have any questions, feel free to always message if you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!